Nine year old Joanna Yakubu, a primary three pupil at Naigomba Primary School in Iganga, is now dead after being beaten. His classmate recalls the events leading up to his death. Pupils were talking in class and the teacher ordered them to come in front. They got into pairs to cane each other. His friend had only caned him three strokes. Yoana dropped and died. The LC1 chairman of the area, Emmanuel Nzimula, confirmed that the pupil died after being caned by a classmate. After being caned by his colleague, it was Johanna's turn to cane him too, but he could not stand up. The teacher tried to wake him up, but he was already dead. Some of the teachers at the school, however, claimed that the people had been sick and this could have led to his death. The boy's health has been worrying. He was sickly. Last term he did not complete school. He just reported today since this term began. His father, Hadad Muteguya, however, refutes the claims that his child was sick. My son was well. He had no complications whatsoever. This morning, he first helped me to take the cows to feed. I saw him off to school myself. Iganga District Police Commander Herbert Nuwagawa says police will soon issue a comprehensive report on Yowana Yakubu's death. And we got the body from the school to the hospital for post-mortem. However, we are getting contradictory reports. Our team is on the ground. By the end of today, we should have got what really happened. The teacher, Grace Chiwanuka, who allegedly ordered the pupils to cane each other, is said to be on the run. No arrests in relation to the matter have been carried out so far. The Ministry of Education banned corporal punishments in all schools and colleges in 2006, but no explicit law exists against it. The biggest fear of both parents and teachers is that without corporal punishment, a child will not be able to learn. This is partly fueled by cultural and religious beliefs. Gertrude Tumusime, Owitkwari.